Hello everybody! In today's session we are going to be looking at how can I convert between deanery and hexadecimal. Now to begin with I just want to talk about our number system that we use in everyday life and that is known as deanery as we've covered in a previous lesson about binary and that is a base 10 system which uses all of these numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. And as we learned in our binary lesson, binary is a base 2 system which only uses two values which is a 1 or a 0. Now hexadecimal uses a base 16 system, which sounds complicated, but it's really not. So we're going to go from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. But then if you go above 9, so 10, you would get A, then B, C, D, E, and F. It doesn't go any higher than F, and F is the equivalent of 15. And we're going to talk about that in a little bit more detail now. So each hex character is a nibble in binary. And if we remember what a nibble is, it just uses one, two, four, eight. It doesn't use a whole byte of data all the way up to 128. It literally just uses one, two, four, and eight. So why do people bother using hexadecimal? Well, as you can tell, it's really simple to remember because it only uses a nibble, one, two, four, and eight. So it's really short. So it's really quick and easy to convert between binary and hexadecimal. Now that has been an exam question in the past. It was quite a long time ago to be fair, but it has been a question. So it's worth mentioning if you are asked, why do people use hexadecimal? This is the reason why. It's simple to remember because it's much shorter and it's very easy to convert between binary and hexadecimal. Let's do an example on how to convert from binary into hexadecimal. So to begin with, it says convert the binary 1010 into hexadecimal. Now to do this, let's first of all write our binary number into this mini conversion table with only a nibble of binary information. So we want 1, 0, 1, 0. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is we first of all going to add up everywhere that there's a 1. So we've got an 8 and we've got a 2. So that's going to add up to 10. So this is the binary for 10, but it's the hexadecimal for A. And that's because I've looked at my conversion chart. I can see that when I've got to 10, I don't write 10. I would write A because that is our hexadecimal base 16 system. Let's look at another example. We've got 1110 in this next example down. So if we do 8 add 4, which is going to give us 12, Add 2, which is going to give us 14. Well, if we look at our conversion up there, we can see that 14 is the equivalent of the hexadecimal E. And finally, if I've got 4 and a 2 there, that's going to add up to 6. And that in hexadecimal still looks like 6. So you're going to put a 6 for that there. Okay, so let's have a look at a few more examples. Now, quite often in your exam, it will ask you to convert two hexadecimal values into binary or deanery. So let's just first of all do it into binary. So we've got D and 5. So we look at those like they are two separate values. Now, I've also got the conversion chart on the left hand side, which I would always recommend drawing out in your exam because it's very easy to make little mistakes on this. And you can see from my conversion table that D is the equivalent of 13. So we need to write 13 out in binary. So to do that, we are going to need our 8. We are going to need our 4. We do not need the 2 and we're going to need the 1 because that is 13 in binary. So we've already done the D. Now on a separate nibble to the right hand side, we then need to make 5. So we don't need the 8. We do need the 4. We don't need the 2. And we do need the 1. Let's do another example. So this time we've got to convert the hexadecimal values E, A. So E is the equivalent of 14. So we need to make 14 using these. So we're going to need 8, we're going to need 4, we're going to need 2, and we do not need 1. So that is the E. And we know from our previous slide that we want to convert A, which is the equivalent of 10. So we've got 8, we don't need the 4, we do need the 2, and we don't need the 1. Finally, this is a common mistake that people make. You've got to read the question properly. This one's saying convert the following hexadecimal 
into binary. Now, this obviously looks like 56, but it's not. You've got to look at it like it is two separate values, and we've been told that they are hexadecimal values. So we are looking at 5, 6, not 56, 5, 6. So what we're going to do, we don't need the 8. We do need the 4. We don't need the 2, and we do need the 1. So there is the 5, and we don't need the 8. We do need the 4. We do need the two and we don't need the one. Now, as a two mark question in your exam, you were probably going to be asked to convert from hexadecimal into deanery or deanery into hexadecimal. So it is going to involve an extra step to do that. So let's have a look. So we're going to first of all write the D out in binary, which is going to be we need the eight, we need the two and we need the one. And then we're going to put the five in binary, which is going to look like zero, one, zero, one. Now, at that stage, we've got two separate nibbles. Now, what we're going to do is quite simply push them together so that they become an 8-bit number. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write out our normal conversion chart like this. And I'm quite simply going to put the exact same two nibbles underneath those place headings instead. So if you look at the top, I've got 1011, 0101. And then quite simply underneath it with the other place headings, I've got 1011, 0101, which is exactly the same. So we first of all convert it into two nibbles, and then we've put our two nibbles together. And then all we need to do is translate that using our normal method from binary to deanery. So if I add 128 to 32, it's going to give me 160. If I add 16, it's going to give me 176. I add the 4, it gives me 180. Add the 1, our answer is 181. That is a full conversion from the hexadecimal D5 to the deanery 181. So what we're going to convert is the deanery 140 into hexadecimal. So to that, we're going to first of all convert it into binary. And this is the binary for 140, we needed 128, 8, and 4. Now, because we're going the other way around this time, we are then going to split that into two separate nibbles. So we're going to bring that just underneath it, 1000, and then 1100. See, so as you can see, it's exactly the same as on top, but I've got two different place headings underneath it now. So we're looking at these like they're two separate values now because we've got two separate nibbles. So on the left hand side, you can see we've only got eight. So that is the same as saying the hexadecimal eight. But on the right hand side, we've got both an eight and a four, which is, as we know, if we add that up, it gives us 12. But 12 in hexadecimal is C. So 140 converted into hexadecimal would give us 8C. So your best way to get better at these is by just practicing lots of different conversions and you can make up your own to do more of these if you want to practice some more. So for these ones, for the first section, I want you to try and convert the hexadecimal numbers or values into deanery. So we've got 3A, we've got DF, and we've got 18, not 18, 18. And then for the second part of this practice, we're going to convert the following deanery numbers into hexadecimal. So these are 96, 118, and 212 into hexadecimal.